What is up you guys, so today is going to be a tutorial showing you guys some simple camera handheld like shake effects that you can use for your videos and basically it requires very minimal editing and it will make very cool effects in your videos and transitions kind of like a lot of beautiful destinations videos so let's get started with the tutorial Okay, so basically I just went outside and tried to do a little sequence, cinematic sequence of these leaves and um, I just used a bunch of different camera wiggle techniques and I want to show you guys how I did some of them. So, I'm pretending this is a camera right now, but um, one thing you can use is you can sort of record like this and then you can go like, just like wave up. Or you can go and record and just wave down. And you can also do some whip effects by moving your camera this way or that way or down or up. So you can basically create cool little transitions just by moving your phone or your camera. So I'm just going to bring in some of these palm tree clips. Okay, so this clip right here is very overexposed, but you can see that I kind of did a wiggle down. So that's one thing you can do. Okay, so for this next one, I'm just going to allow it to sort of do this little sequence. And then I'm kind of rotating. So I started by having the clip upside down. And then I'm rotating the camera so that it goes forward again. And, and here I'm just like sort of wiggling the camera around in different places. So a lot of the times you have scrappy kind of footage. And you sometimes want to use it because you could kind of speed it up. So I'm going to use this scrappy junk footage. So I'm just going to continue putting in some of these footages. And, and I'll show you guys what I get at the end. Okay, so it's much later now. And I kind of got the clips that I want. So I'm going to show you guys. And let's just run through it all real quick. So basically for this first one, it's kind of panning downwards. The second one is upside down and it, then it starts to rotate so that it's forward again. Okay, this next one is of the palm tree and then it kind of whips to the right. This one has like a long little cinematic part and then it pans up crazily in a bunch of different directions so it's like, like that. And then this next one is also in a bunch of different directions and I just thought we could kind of speed this up to be in the middle of the clip. And then this last one just pans to the right. Okay, so now we're going to start to use uh, timer mapping, which I made a video on before, but I guess I'll kind of go through the steps again for this one. But I just wanted to show you guys how these camera techniques can be used in your video. So, I'm going to go to our first clip, and then I'm going to press right click, and I'm going to press show clip keyframes, and then timer mapping and speed. And then we're just going to make sure that's on. Okay, so now if I run through the clip, towards the beginning I kind of want it to be slower and then and then towards the end I kind of want it to speed up. But here it's stopping at my foot, so I'm just going to press W so we can delete the end of that clip. So now it doesn't stop at my feet anymore. Okay, so now that speed is enabled, we're just going to start going to where the clip starts to go and pan down. And we're going to press the keyframe button for the speed up in the effect controls panel. So if I go towards the end where, where I want it to speed up, I can bring this bar up and you can see that it has a percent mark. So I can just speed this up to 150% and it'll go a lot faster. Um, but I'm just going to speed it up to 250. So you can play around with how fast the speed goes. And now in the beginning I said I wanted to be a little slower so I'm going to go to about 92%. And then we have these bars, if we zoom in, we have these little bars, and if we extend it outwards, you can see that the line turns into, like, it starts to gradually speed up. So when we extend it, it'll make a line so that it gradually starts to speed up, and this will look a lot more clean. So basically, that's kind of what you want to do to all our clips. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all of that, and I'll talk over it in a voiceover this time. Okay, so I'm just going to move on to the rotating clip. So in the beginning, it's rotating. 
So I'm going to go and add timer mapping on this one too. So let's right click, go to show clip keyframes and timer mapping and speed. Okay, so in the beginning of the clip, I kind of want that rotation to go fast and then slow down once it starts to go back to its normal position. So I'm going to press the keyframe button for speed right towards the end where it starts to go back to its normal position. And then for the beginning of the clip, I'm just going to speed it up a lot because I think that'll look cool. And then towards the end, I'm going to let it slow down a lot. And then we're just going to make that diagonal line again so it smoothens out the keyframes. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. So basically, this is what I'm going to do with all my clips. Kind of just speed it up and slow it down on certain parts of the clip. And let me just unlink all the audio so it doesn't really get in the way. So with this rotating clip, I'm just going to press Alt and drag it over so that we have a duplicate copy. And I'm going to reverse the speed for this one. And I think this could look like a really cool effect because it'll go backwards. But for the duplicated copy, I'm just going to speed this up by a lot. So I'm going to not play with the timer mapping this time. I'm just going to press Command R and speed it up to about 300%. And that'll look good. And now it easily blends in with our next leaf clip. So that's like a cool looking effect right there. Now let's just add timer mapping again on this one and speed it up towards the end where the camera kind of whips to the right. Okay, I'm just gonna reorder these. And so this clip that I brought forward is the one that goes in all crazy directions. So this one I'm just gonna press Command R and speed it up a lot to about 400%. And now this will just be a crazy looking effect. And it's going on for a bit too long so you can kind of adjust it to make it shorter. Because sometimes it doesn't look too good if it's just all in a crazy motion. Okay, now I'm going to bring that other clip forward. And so this one I'm going to add timer mapping. And in the beginning, after the clip kind of starts, I'm going to press the keyframe button. And then towards the end where the camera starts to whip, I'm going to also, I'm going to also press the keyframe button. And in the beginning, I want it to speed up really fast, while in the middle, it slows down. And in the end, I want it to speed it up again. So I'm going to just adjust the lines to make that happen. So this last clip, I'm just going to add timer mapping again. And for the ending part, I'm just going to let it speed up a lot when it whips. But I do want the transition to go in reverse direction because I think it will look cool when the whip is coming from downwards. So I'm just going to press Command R and press reverse speed. Okay, so I want to show you guys the before and after of all the clips. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.